I've been using Sakai since um, 2012. Um, within a year of launching a fully online bachelor's option for nurses to complete their degree at Loyola University Chicago. We adapted Sakai as its learning management platform and um, I directed and taught in that program, typically engaging students in uh, learning about community health. Um, then fast forward to 2021, it has been a solution beyond what uh, originally was envisioned. Uh, a central focus of the lesson tape design is uh, the learner engagement uh, with the content, the instructor, and with peers. Um, the master sites are used in our R and BSM program to ensure the consistency and the quality of the course design and delivery. There are several faculty who keep a master course site um, and use that for their course imports and to share ideas and strategies with other faculty. In my courses, I use lessons to build out my modules for the course, and each lesson is organized with an introduction, um, le learning objectives, content, and uh, activities as well. Typically, there's um, multiple sections of a course, so our, our faculty will use it as a template, and then they will make it their own. For example, if they have any sort of lecture clips, um, they will uh, tend to either uh, use what's there or um, share their own uh, content from their own expertise as well. So it's optional. Um, whenever I share my courses, faculty always welcome to uh, use my content as well. I wanted to uh, show you our um, Quality Matters course for the Concepts and Theories, um, which is, this is my master course site. I wanted to, in particular, show you this um, feature of Sakai, which I think is really useful for organization of being able to create these subheadings underneath a module so that makes it easy for students to access and go back to material. There is an example, there was an example here, let's go back, please, of the landing page I wanted to show you um, that has the subpages here. Um, a checklist and then a calendar and some support material. Here in this checklist, um, as a faculty, I can then uh, click and be able to um, view what a student has done. It'll show up as a check mark. I wanted to also show you from this module one of the sub pages where I incorporate some imagery to elicit um, thoughts uh, about uh, concepts and um, before a student goes in to view a lecture. Um, I have them also add comments within the module um, to be able to create that um, learning community and have the students um, at large um, come together um, in this in this uh, online community. I don't grade those comments or those um, particular discussions that I create in the, within the modules. I have separate um, small group discussions for um, graded activities. I also integrate some activities where they have to do matching or they have to sort cards and embed those into the module pages. They comment on the structure of the course in my course evaluations um, on its organization and how interactive it is for online courses. Once you have a good template that is logically organized, you can build out your lessons and provide consistency for your students across the course. Um, it will facilitate both the learner and the teacher experience and it's a place to interact and learn. You have that um, capability to tailor the content and create that space um, with the tools that you offer. So that makes it um, that makes it a very creative space.